the main idea is that the big plot in the universe, you know, the big the big story is like, what is the big story in the universe? You know, people have different views. People might think of history as like a long march towards justice, for example. Other people might think like of, of history as like a as a march towards like better technology, you know, like or some people might think of history as the the growth of the human spirit and, and art or something like that. And, and all of those are like valuable and different kind of perspectives, different slivers of like the, the thing that is really going on. But if I were to describe at the highest level, what is going on? What is the big picture? I would say it's an eternal battle between consciousness and pure replicators. What I mean by this is, you know, evolution is in some sense, the thing that it's trying to maximize, at least genetically speaking, is inclusive fitness, right? It's like every gene in you to a first approximation. And there's a lot of complexities here. And, you know, Richard Dawkins uh, doesn't have the full view and et cetera. But if to a good directional, a good a first approximation, genes inside us are trying to maximize the copies in them. Now, uh, traditionally, I guess, like the naive view on evolution is like, hey, you're trying to maximize the genes of you, right? As if there was kind of like an essence to your own genes. And it's like, okay, you want to maximize that. But not really, right? Because we, we, you know, people will run into buildings to save, you know, several of their siblings or family members, even if, if they are putting themselves at great risk. If you actually look at how are those, you know, desires implemented on a moment to moment basis, you will realize, well, actually there's an experience like you at a very deep fundamental level, you are these experiences that you're having like that. It, and the experiences is where the moral value, both negative and positive is to be found. 